Welcome to go, Diana. You said you've got a surprise for us today. I do. We were down here at the People's Craft House in Penticton. And this is where people come to make their own wine and beer, right? Is that what we're doing That's today? Right. No, no, we're not making wine or beer. What we're going to do is go behind the scenes and make our own craft soda. I would like to introduce you to Jason Cox, the owner. Hey, Jason. Hey nice to meet you. So this is where it all comes together? This is it. This is uh, where we make our wine, beer, and soda products. Now today, I guess uh, we're focusing on the soda, right? We're going to focus on craft soda, and Jason is going to walk us through making the most complicated one, right? Yeah, well, I was thinking we could walk you through root beer. Uh, root beer has 14 ingredients, everything from barks to roots to berries, um, flowers, all kinds of things in that. So Is that complicated? Oh, that it's pretty complicated, yeah. Is there another one that's not as complicated? Sure, yeah. Um, we can I... do cream soda. It's got four ingredients. How does that sound? <laughs> what do you think? Two each? I think, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's a good, good idea. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> cream soda is only traditionally three ingredients, lots of vanilla beans, lemon, and sugar. We decided to... Uh, use the abundance we have in this valley and um, bring the cream soda up a notch. Uh, today we're going to make uh, cherry, even though it's not cherry season. I've got some, some cherry juice from last year's harvest from Oliver um, that we're going to put into our soda for today. Lemons, uh, so what I'm going to need you to do, Doug, is okay. zest those. I'm going to lengthen out the bean. All the goodness of a bean is inside. Oh my goodness. Just watch your fingers. And watch yeah, your this makes me really nervous, Jason. It does? Yes. It's a, a thin bean and a big knife. All those little black beans. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. look at that. Those. We have band-aids and... I've got a full <laughs> first aid kit. I'm oh, first okay. aid trained. Oh, awesome. Thank so, goodness. Well, just in case. Mike, Mike is on speed dial with 911. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And the ambulance thing is like right across the street. Right there. Yeah. So we're good. All right. I'll... Uh, do you want to swap? Y you know what? No, I, I think this is a good challenge for me, but ask me after I've got through one bean. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm... Are you nervous, Doug? Am I nervous? Yeah, like how, how's, how's your side going? So far, so good. Oh, you know what we should do? We should race to see if I can get 100,000 no. Diana, um, I'm beans before you. I'm pretty sure that you. speed slicing is <laughs> one of the is things that's frowned on in the host in the TV show manual. Okay. So we're keeping we're keeping a pace here. I think so. oh look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look how quickly you get the technique. Wow. I have a manual juicer here. Okay. We have a machine that actually does the juicing, right. but I want I want you to get the true back to the 1800s experience. So yeah, just shove that down and give it a twist and those ribs are going to take all the juice right out of that lemon. The water is going to be boiling on the stove. You want to wrap that sort of around the, uh, the vessel. You got your side done? Yes, I did. There you go. <laughs> Let's add the cherry juice. How much? All of it. So the cream soda that you guys put so much work into, it's boiled, it's cooked, it's sweetened, and now it's carbonated. So inside their walk-in cooler, this one's pushing air into it, this one's taking product out through the wall, and we'll right, walk so out there and do some bottling. Over there is the bottling. That's right. Perfect. All right. This is the fun oh. part. Just slide a bottle underneath. Right. Press start. Oh, I like that. Ooh. And you see it fill. It's starting to fill out. We'll take that out. The cap underneath. Cinch it down. Give it a shake. Oh, look at that. And there's a bottle of cream soda ready to go to the store. Oh, okay. Yes. So it goes in. <laughs> you, you I'll had, push the button. You had one demonstration. You should be uh, a master. Start. 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 Sure. 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 Door's closing. Stuff's happening. It looks good. Looks good. It's over. It's look at our. Look at that. It's pouring in there. Does it open? It opens automatically. All right, Diana. Okay, here we go. You're gonna wipe and, and, and cap it. Wipe and cap. You do that one. I'll get another one started. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> I'm used to taking the caps off, not putting them on. So. Really? Oh, there gosh. you go. Okay. 
Give it a give it a little shake. Okay. And what you're gonna find out by shaking it is if the cap sealed properly. There you go. Do you wanna do that? You wanna swap? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, here you go. Thanks. It's the handoff. It does take a little push. <laughs> it helps when he drops it down. <clears throat> Bubbles. Bubbles? And no, no leakage? You're good. All right. Technic. <clears throat> What'd you do? I don't know. Uh oh. There's trouble with the mill. <laughs> I'm out. Retreating. I'm done. Mike needs to take over. It, uh, it kind of exploded. We'll take it from here. Uh, yeah, okay. We're going to tag out. <laughs> There's a whole case to fill up. That's right. Good work so far, though. Well, thank you. My well done. I would do it. Now we're kind of stuck <laughs> together. All right, you get the door from. <laughs> heavier than it looks. I, I should have been carrying it. Hey, Debbie. Well, how are you? Good, how are you? Look at this. Here's your uh, delivery of uh, oh, craft cream soda. That's right. Awesome. right we on. made this, Paul. We made this. You just Doug made, and I it. Just made yeah, it. We, we learned how just now. Well done. That's excellent. Yeah. So uh, what do you like about having your own soda? It's, it's, a, it's a local product. Uh, you know, we are inspired by using all the local fruits, uh, you know, that are growing right around us. So you know, just to come up with a recipe that we can infuse a seasonal cream soda uh, with whatever is growing at the moment uh, is pretty fantastic. That's it for the show. Thanks to everybody for letting us uh, dive right in. That was pretty cool. It was. It was excellent. A lot of fun today. All right. I'm Doug Brown. And I'm Diana Sterling. We'll see you next time on Go.